Hi, so I am down in Burlington at LaSalle Park and I'm here to take some landscape photos. I see there are actually quite a few photographers here already, but they are wildlife photographers. And how can I tell? Because there's always wildlife photographers here and they have their nice long lenses and they're, they're out for, um, there's tons of swans here and different kinds of birds and, um, wood ducks and all that kind of thing so anyway that's what they're doing but I'm not here for that I'm here to actually maybe try to use my 10 stop filter and get some pretty shots of the lake and maybe some landscape it's late fall so there's leaves on the ground not too many on the trees anymore but uh yeah we'll see how it goes Okay, so, okay, so I'm out and I'm on the lake shore and I have found this really cool log here that's still driftwood here on the shore. And, uh, and I'm setting up my camera to ISO 100. I have on the 10 stop neutral density filter and what that does is it just basically reduces the light that's coming into the camera so that I can leave the shutter open for longer and what I'm going to do is I'm trying to blur the waves as they come in. It gives it kind of like a nice ethereal, magical, smooth kind of touch. So I'm just kind of isolating that log on the uh, shore and uh, here's my camera and uh, I'm on f13 20 seconds and uh, and like I said ISO 100 and uh, yeah let's take the shot and see what we get I've taken it already from a different angle and now I'm doing this one and uh, there it goes the other thing that I'm making sure to do is when there's a uh, when there's a breeze, I just make sure that my camera strap is not blowing in the wind because that will actually add movement to um, the camera even slightly so even a little bit will throw off the focus and I want the focus on the actual log itself to be crisp and everything else around it to be smooth. Okay, uh, there, it's finished. I'm gonna go check. Okay, so I like it and now just because I'm going to make sure I have the focus where I want it, I'm moving down to f9.5 and it's giving me 10 to 15 seconds and uh, sometimes I find it hard to review when I'm just looking at the three inch screen at the back. So I like to take a few different experimental settings and then get home and see which ones I like better. Um, yeah, so I'm just uh, comparing now the 15 seconds to the 30. Okay, it's done. Moving on. I have another uh, another idea just up the shore. There's lots of uh, twigs here, so I'm going to have to do some climbing. So I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so now I've got the camera a lot lower to the ground, and I'm just getting this shoreline here with maybe some of the rocks out there. It's going to be kind of minimal, I think, once I... Uh, eliminate all the movement and the detail with the 10 stop filter and uh, yeah I'm starting with 20 seconds at f11 and uh, just for all of these photos today I'm using my 50 millimeter lens um, I could change and, and everything but I'm kind of pressed for time so I picked the 50 and that's uh, today so let's see how it turned out So it was just a bit too minimal for my taste. So all I did was I shifted the camera over a little bit more to get uh, more of the rocks here that are not being covered by the waves. So I moved that over and I'm loving it. I am loving this picture, it's absolute magic. So the rocks that are on the shore are kind of like, they're actually kind of a fall color. There's a little bit of fall leaves in between and the water coming in is just, beautiful so I'm taking a few of those and then I see another piece of driftwood it's not actually driftwood it's a branch that has grown and is actually like just going right into the water and I'm heading there next okay so I got one shot because <laughs> there's these swans out there and they're bullying me they're following me around I must be too close to their territory and their family and uh, they came like half a foot from me and they were just definitely not happy that I was there. 
Um, I don't think you can see them, but anyway, they're out there. So I took one shot and I left. Now, generally those swans are not very aggressive, um, but you know what? They weren't happy, so I left. 